Hello, my name is Annette Stewart, and I am the manager for the Community Advocacy Services Group, or as we call them, the CAS Group. Our team is made up of myself, Stephen Persinger, who is a client uh, advocate. He works with people from Salt Lake City into the northern part of the state. We also have Laurie Monell, and she works with people who are from Salt Lake down to the southern part of the state. And also we have Diego Acosta, and he is down in the St. George office. What we do is advocate for your rights. We assist people in filling out applications. Uh, we feel like community services is the best place to advocate for those. So if there's anything that you need, we can help you with that. We have an employment specialist. Now currently that job has not been filled, um, but the employment specialist can help individuals look for jobs, can help them uh, fill out applications or make a resume. Now they're not going to do it for you, but they can help you uh, in, in searching for a job. The Utah Work Incentive Planning Service, we call it UWIPS. What we can do is we can teach you of all the rules of receiving SSI or SSDI benefits and working and how that happens. The uh, goal is for individuals to make good decisions for their lives. We also have uh, several other experts who work with an interpreter to help people understand uh, how to sign up for Medicare when it's open, the SHIP program, and the HE program, which is the Home Energy Assistance Target program. It can help you get uh, a break on your gas or electric bills. We've got trained staff who help individuals. A lot of them are deaf, and they help them prepare their taxes. So that's our VITA program. If they don't have the answers, they'll find the answer you're looking for. And you can call our front desk to schedule an appointment with us. Hello, my name is Diego Acosta, and my sign name is on my forehead. I have several different responsibilities. I work as a case manager. I provide classes. I plan events. And I do outreach. For the southern part of Utah, at our office down in St. George. The staff who works with me are Judy Raffi, Deanne Erickson, and they work uh, in our front office, uh, taking turns. Kelly Bunting is our interpreter mentor. Holly Ennis Poe is our hard of hearing assistant. We also have Telsha Winger and Shauna Evans, who interpret for us. We will have a Halloween event at Grandpa's Pond in the Hurricane. You will need to bring your Halloween costumes and pumpkin carving uh, utensils for a pumpkin carving contest. Every Friday, we offer an ASL chat online 
which is a lot of fun. It's from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, and we'd love to invite you to Hello, I'm here to tell you about the CEO or the Continuing Education and Outreach and what that involves. That involves community activities, classes offered at our center, continuing education, So I'd like to tell you who works with our group. Um, first off, we've got Mary Beth, Beryl, and Diego Acosta down in the southern office in St. George. Also, we have Mitch Moyers, and Ron Nelson. And the uh, two of them uh, focus on outreach, technology, and media. They used to contact employers or uh, entities that worked with deaf or hard of hearing people and teach them about accommodating deaf or hard of hearing individuals. But uh, Lately, they've been working on expanding our outreach to support uh, our communities to make sure they know how to utilize new technologies uh, and also to let people know what it is we can offer here at our center. I am the uh, community program manager, which means I work with those individuals that I recently mentioned. I provide support for them. Uh, ideas and make sure that everything is uh, operating okay. I work hand in hand with the community to see if there are different types of classes they would like us to offer or how we can expand the services that we offer. As a community I'd like to hear from you. If you see anything that you'd like to see again or some new type of class that you would like to see please contact me. I look forward to working with you. My name is Shelley Wyatt. I'm the hard of hearing specialist for Utah. Hearing loss is a communication disorder and we are here to help those with hearing loss and their families to get around those communication obstacles more successfully. Our services include hands-on assistive technology demonstrations, classes, presentations and workshops, mentoring and support group resources. Our demo lab has a lot of different equipment from personal uh, amplifiers, alarm clocks, sound machines for tinnitus and other alerting devices. We don't sell anything. We can share a variety, variety of ways for you to buy it. We have a 30-day try before you buy loan program. We have hard hearing assistance around the state. For Salt Lake, we, we have during the pandemic, all the assistants teach classes online, which eliminates borders and enables more people to join us from all over Utah. Classes will begin again in person in the future when the pandemic is let up on us. <laughs> we have weekly coffee chats, a group of people who meet without an agenda and talk about various topics on hearing loss. The pandemic has been hard on those with hearing loss due to masks and social distancing. So we created this social event for everyone to share their frustrations and the solutions they have found. We also support the Hearing Loss Association of America Salt Lake City chapter, who have had meetings at the Sanderson Community Center until the pandemic. They continue their meetings online also, and we continue to support them. Thank you.
Hello everybody, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Utah Interpreting Program. Uh, the Utah Interpreting Program uh, is responsible for several things and the biggest obligation that they have is to help the state here in Utah who has a law as far as interpreting goes that people who do interpreting must be certified and UIP is the entity who takes care of that. We make sure individuals are certified or if they need to take the test we offer that test here at our center. If they have certification from another state we recognize that and make sure it's acceptable here in the state. Also we have a staff of interpreters uh, who interpret for the DSDHH staff north and south. Also, we interpret for Vocational Rehabilitation, who is a partner of ours. I will now name the UIP team. Um, we have our uh, administrative team, the individuals who do the emails every day and uh, contact people, answer the phones, and uh, also run all of the maintenance and recognition. We've got Daisha Davidson and also Jessica Callahan. We've got a filming group, uh, a media person who helps us edit videos, and his name is Gideon Nelson. And we have uh, staff interpreters uh, who are all certified. We have Amy Santiago. We have Clay Anderson. We have Kelly Bunting from our Southern Center down in St. George. We have Paul DeGraw. And we have Stephanie Belshi, who is a certified deaf interpreter. And Teresa Donaldson. And those are our core uh, team of interpreters at the center. My name is Trenton Marsh, and I am the UIP program manager. Previous to this job, uh, Mitch Jensen did that, and when he retired, I took over for him. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Adam Schul. I work with the FMO department, which is Facilities, Maintenance, and Operations. Our team consists of Arlene Gunderson, who's the director, Melanie Sperry and Sherry Brown, who are the secretaries and the front desk, and myself, Adam, and also Julio Enriquez, who does all the cleaning around the center and helps me out with anything I need help with. Brett Seitman uh, does part-time security and helps with different events here at the center. I've got some some Exciting news uh, as far as our facilities go. Our gym uh, recently got a new paint job uh, for all the walls and the floor will be refurbished and they will uh, sand it all. They're going to paint new lines and then uh, get it all done so that we can play basketball and volleyball here again. Uh, in our lobby uh, next to our front desk and also our lounge where the pool tables are, we've got brand new couches that we recently replaced that look really nice. In classrooms A, B, and C, we got new projectors and new screens uh, that you can either watch a presentation on or you could utilize the whiteboards as screens. So if you need to utilize our rooms, we can help you learn how to be safe.